Thanks, guys. Sorry for being late. Um, I was getting around some of the activities there. Thanks for turning up today. Uh, look, we've been blessed with a wonderful day. Again, I know those who were here last year, it was, it was pretty hot. But uh, today the weather's absolutely perfect and I hope you've enjoyed um, the activities that are on display. Uh, we got such good feedback from this event last year. We felt compelled to come out here again and said, I, I really hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for, you, for supporting the day. Look, a lot's happened in the last 12 months. Um, not long after this event last year, uh, our AFLW team went on and, and won their second flag in three years in front of 50,000 people at Adelaide Oval, magic event. But this year they're going to start off a little differently. The two skippers won't be there for round one, Chelsea Randall and Aaron Phillips, but um, with injury. But look, this is the group that's always so full of confidence. They're such a tight-knit group, um, a really special unit. They're amazingly led by Doc Clark uh, and his coaching group, and I know they'll enter this season with high expectations and a, and a heap of confidence. And then a bit of change in the men's program as well, most notably with a new senior coach who you'll hear from in a little while, uh, Matthew Nix, um, some other changes in the footy department. Uh, but I'll tell you what we've, and a, a rejuvenated playing list, but I'll tell you what we do have, um, and I was just actually speaking to um, a couple of players then, just an extraordinary amount of energy at training at the moment. And these guys have, they've worked their butts off over summer. Um, uh, they're enjoying what they're doing. It's a, it's a really positive vibe around the footy club and I know that a few of them can't wait now to, to start playing some, com some uh, competitive games. What hasn't changed is this. Um, the extraordinary support we get from our fans. So thank you very much for what you do. Uh, best fans in footy. You're loud in voice. You're large in number. Uh, we appreciate the fact that you come out to events like this and engage like you do and the support that you provide us throughout every year is, is extraordinary. Um, it's recognised and it's appreciated and, um, and said we look forward to seeing you at our AFLW games at Richmond Oval and Unley Oval, at Adelaide Oval for our AFL games uh, and right throughout the course of the year. Now I do want to just make another comment. Um, I know it's been a tough summer for some, particularly those that have been impacted by the bushfires and um, look we do have an event on, I'm sure most people know, before footy gets underway. Uh, on Sunday, the 2nd of February at Adelaide Oval, we've got our bushfire bash, the um, T20 showdown against Port Adelaide. Uh, there'll be some announcements over the next couple of weeks about some of the special guests who'll be in our team. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting event. We hope to get a lot of people there to raise a good amount of money for the bushfire appeal, but, but also just to recognise uh, the emergency services personnel, both the volunteers as well as the professional staffers who've spent their summer protecting you know, our community, so they've done a fantastic job. So I hope to see you there um, on the 2nd of Feb, and for those that, that can't make it, said thanks for the support that you provided in all sorts of other ways. So look, that's it for me. Just massive thanks for, again for showing up today. I hope you've enjoyed the, the 25 stations or so around the precinct, catching up with a few of the players from both the men's and women's team, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the course of the year at the footy. Um, I think I'll hand over now to, I think we're gonna to speak to the coaches. Thanks guys. <laughs>